Hello friends, I'm Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am so happy to have you. While you're here, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today I am really excited because we are going to be checking out a nursery that I have never been to. This place is called Amelia's Smarty Plants, I believe. I actually saw it from another YouTuber here. She posted a video where she visited this nursery and she mentioned that it was in Lake Worth, Florida. So when she said that, I was like, wait a minute, that's not too, too far away from me. Turns out it's about an hour drive for me, so I'm really excited because they have a few plants, at least in her video, that I really want and that are on my wish list. I've tried to be good lately and pretty much not buy any plants unless they are on my specific wish list. So hopefully I get lucky and I find a couple of these plants. The two that I saw in her video that I want and that are on my wish list are the Raphidophora tetrasperma and the other one is a pilea so hopefully they're not all gone because this video was from a while back but I'm hoping that because they had them at that point that maybe they get those in regularly um, I am going to go ahead and give them a call they just opened up about 10 minutes ago so I want to give them a call and make sure that they have at least a couple of these plants since it is an hour drive I want to make sure that it's gonna be worth it even though I mean, they might have other plants that I want, so I should probably go anyway, right? Anyway, let's give them a call and see what's up. <laughs> you trying to grab the camera. All right, let's give this place a call. Oh. There. I live about an hour away from you guys and I just wanted to check if you possibly have a couple of plants before I make the drive over there. Okay, is it possible for me to call you back in five minutes? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'll call you right back. I Thank you. I got your number on my, on my caller ID. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So, did you guys hear that? I don't know, they're probably just getting situated for the day and I'm over here bothering them already, but she said she's gonna give me a call back in five minutes, so. We'll wait for her call. All right, we're in the car. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't wait for her to give me a call back because I kind of just want to go check out this place anyway. I mean, it would be really nice if they had these plants, but what else do I have to do as a stay-at-home mom? And that is a complete joke, by the way, because being a stay-at-home mom is not an easy job. Yeah, I basically just chase around a now toddler. I can't even believe I just said that. Thomas just turned a year old on Saturday and I'm honestly having a little bit of a hard time accepting it because I feel like the second he turned one, yeah, I know it's only been like three days, but he like magically became a big boy from one day to the next and I really don't like it. Like he just looks so big and he's like learning so much, so much. I just went off on a complete tangent, but it is now 9.17 and I'm just gonna get on the road and start heading there because that's what we're doing today. All right, everyone, we have made it to the nurseries. Um, the woman that I spoke to this morning did end up calling me back when I was on my way here, but I just let her know, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and check it out. She told me I would not be disappointed. So as you guys have seen in my other videos, you can expect me to be very excited over plants and almost annoyingly excited. So I apologize for that, but I'm really excited to see what they've got to offer here. I think Thomas fell asleep, but we're gonna wake him up here. I'm going to breast feed him and then we're going to go check out this place. Thomas. Hi buddy. <laughs> I normally just wear Thomas even when I go to nurseries but I want to enjoy the place so I'm going to just leave him in there so I can actually spend some time here. I love the music. <laughs> Setting the mood. It looks beautiful already, look at this. Wow. Ooh. Good thing his stroller can make it through this stuff. <laughs> really pretty at and so nice those holes 
sequoias. Hi, beauties. <laughs> I've never seen this one in real life. Hoya Kentiana. These are six inch pots for $18.50. We have some little Hindu ropes, which I already have a huge one, as you guys have seen, so I'm not going to get that one. Look at these hanging ones. Oh, there we go. Look at that beautiful hanging Hoyas. I'm going to take a picture of these for a friend of mine. Oh, these are super cute. They have little baby ones. You know, I'm usually really attracted towards the baby ones because then I can watch them grow. And they're obviously usually a lot more affordable. Ooh. These are 35. What do you see over there, Tom? These are huge fiddle leaves. Yeah, $325. <laughs> These are pretty. These are much more mature leaves than the little baby that I've got. Like this one right here, wow. These are twelve fifty. Pretty reasonable, I think. Wow, it's beautiful. Hey guys, look at this leaf right here. Wow. What a beauty. This is actually my first time ever seeing a Monstera Deliciosa in real life, like for sale at a plant shop. Or actually, technically it's my second time because I saw a couple at this one place, but they were like huge and root bound and terrible. This is $25, that's quite reasonable. I do have a friend that's propagating one for me though, so I don't want to buy one, but I do want to buy one. <laughs> the struggle. Philodendron on moss. I love these begonias, they're so pretty. I've been into begonias lately, but only certain ones. I don't know. Really beautiful. I think I've spotted what we came here for. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this labeled as? This is labeled weird. Oh, cause it's labeled uh, as a Monstera Minima, but it is what I'm looking for. $45 though. That's gonna be the most I've ever spent on a plant. I'm cheap, but I told myself that if I came here and they had it, I would get it. And it is on my wish list, so. rattlesnakes so oh these are pretty what are these called oh. aphelandra white snow some bigger rattlesnakes Ooh, these pretties calathea cosimea 
you know I know these are a little bit more rare but for some reason they're just not really they don't call to me that much they're just okay in my opinion and like my prayer plant I'm just not that attached to it so I know like the red variety is a little bit more interesting but eh. <gasps> oh look what we have here another wish list plant all right you're coming home with mama there's still a whole bunch more this is literally like one third i mean not even like one fifth of this place there's still so much more to show you guys i feel like i gotta show you guys what's going on with my monstera adansonii and like how i found it when i took it out of its pot to repot it because it was struggling but anyway, there's like a thousand of them here. So I'm kind of like upset that I didn't just, you know, get one here. But they also have, these are really cool. I know some people that love these. They're the crocodile ferns. It's really cool patterning on there. They also have these really big Hylaea baskets. Those are, you probably can't see there, but they're $35. This place is definitely more expensive than a lot of the places that I have around home, but there is definitely a lot more variety here, so. Get what you pay for, I guess, right? These are pretty. I've seen that kind of leaf on an alocasia bunch of ZZs. I don't know why I've never really been drawn to ZZs. Some cacti. There's just a whole lot to look at in this place, you guys. It really is pretty breathtaking. I think on this side is less stuff that I'm into, but just in case. Ooh, these whale things. Beautiful though. These guys. Ooh, string of pearls, which I still have not gotten. I really wanted them before, but now they're kind of just like meh. Secondary to me right now. These are adorable though. Kind of want one of those. These are $265 a piece. Make your own little like succulent garden. I love these. We've got a bunch of these in water, different ones. You can see all the amazing root systems. Look at that. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, Tom? Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. That's a really cool piece. Wow. So everything that we've seen so far is just the one half. This is like the shop part. And then there's all of that. <laughs> How cute are these little pumpkins? Love it. This is all more outdoor stuff, so we might not look too extensively through here, but there's just so much. This place is beautiful. It really is. Wow. Those are just pretty. <laughs> These are huge. Kiddo. <laughs> How cute is this little guy? Look at this boy. Yeah. got all 
these air plants. Mm. All right, guys, as you can tell, it was a little hot out there because it's Florida and even though it's supposed to be fall it's still 90 degrees out so it was a good trip and it was a little bit disappointing I kind of thought that I was gonna get to see a few more rare things and I was really hoping like fingers crossed that I would find maybe like some kind of cool anthurium but I didn't they literally had like one which is the most common type so that was kind of a bummer i did however find raphidophora tetrasperma and i did find the pileas that i was looking for but to be honest they didn't really capture me like they have online like i have seen them online and i thought they were so cute and dainty and i don't know they just didn't really do it for me in person so i actually ended up leaving that one behind i did get i got this really adorable peperomia i actually don't know what variety this is it was labeled in there but I just don't remember. I love how these feel and they're just really beautiful. Here is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. She's pretty mature. She's got new growth coming in. She was not cheap. She was $45, which is actually the most I've ever spent on a plant. I don't know if, you know, I'm just cheap or what, but I feel like, okay, I'm getting too picky with this because one, I have expensive taste in plants. So now I only want like these super rare plants and I'm like, all right, you gotta be prepared. If you want the rare plants, you're gonna have to pay the price for them. Even though I know this isn't a super rare plant, it's just in pretty high demand. I have not seen it anywhere near me. This is the first time that I've actually seen it in person. And this place had a bunch of them, so I don't even know what that means, but they had a, a bunch. <laughs> so I definitely got to get my pick of them, but yeah, I guess maybe that's why I expected to see more things that got grabbed my attention although i will say they had a pretty good hoya selection i wanted to get a few hoyas but then i was like i don't really need more hoyas right now i should probably hold off i really love the hoyas that i have so i was like let me just chill with that I think Thomas and I are probably just gonna grab some lunch before we head back home because it is definitely lunchtime already for him and I. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these nursery tour videos, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. If you know any nurseries in the Florida area that you recommend, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to check them out. I don't really know where a lot of things are since I'm just getting started in this plant thing. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.